This is David Zobel, and today we're going to be working on how to draw a letter B monster. So let's get right into it. So what we're looking at, again, is inside of Sketchbook Pro here. Um, we're going to look at what a B is. So if we look at a B, a B is something like this. Now, I think what a lot of people look at is they look at, okay, well, I'm going to take this letter and I'm going to draw these little insides here, right, as my letter. And then that only leaves us like little space for, for the monster to exist. So, you know, where am I going to put eyes? Am I going to put, you know, a mouth here? What's really going on? So what you really need to think about is some of your characteristics are going to be where those spaces are. Like I'm going to draw an eye maybe here and I'm going to ignore this. I don't need this part to understand that it's a B, right? So if I have my basic shape as a B like this, what I can do is say, all right, well, maybe let's put an eye here right, roughly, um, and I'm gonna take this shape that's here and I'm gonna turn that into a smile. You see already we have a lot of character that's there. And I'm gonna let this, this bottom part of the bee, the bowl of the bee, be the belly. And that's what makes it kind of interesting. And so this monster is now looking sideways, so we're gonna put the other eye on the other side. And I don't know, let's do some next signature of my teeth here. Let's get, some hands going on here and I'm just going to draw let's draw a foot down here and another foot here so you can see the way that I'm drawing the feet right so we the the monster standing sideways so there'd be one foot that would be kind of in front it's the foot that's that's facing us and then you have the other foot in the background I'm gonna draw a couple others with a couple other feet so you can kind of see what's going on with this um I don't know we put a belly button here um, I'm going to go up and draw, maybe draw a little tuft of hair. If we're going to draw like a horn, right? Maybe there's a horn that's here. There'd be a horn on the other side, right? So, or ear or whatever. So we have to make sure we're kind of drawing those pieces, um, that are there. So that's one. Let's look at another one. You know, so what if you really change these proportions to something like this? What if we had maybe a tail coming out of here, right? And maybe we have a foot. That's like this. Maybe there's an eye that's like this. And there we go with a different idea. Let's do one more over here, right? Our basic B shape. And let's this time maybe put a bow here. Let's back that up. So, you know, so I'm looking at this saying, all right, you know what, if I'm going to do that, I think I want this B to come down a little bit further, right? Because if I'm going to put an I here, and let's do a foot maybe like this. And so maybe we have another one just in the back and maybe a little bit shaggy, right? So we have all these different options that we can do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this basic one. Let's go in and just darken this up. And I'm just going to draw just some basic things as far as now what I see from my sketch. So if you're doing this on paper, right? So this is now like your pencil. And so now you're kind of planning a little bit, or maybe this is your light pencil. And now we're going in with a heavier pencil. And I said, you know what? I really like, whoa, not that. I really like these horns that are here. Let me adjust my brush here. There we go. So I really like these horns. So let's do two of these. And I want this, maybe some hair like this. We're gonna go into a smiley face. And maybe instead of these lines, maybe we're doing something more like this, right? And just kind of planning a little bit. And let's give a little fun bend in the arms. Still with the same belly. Right, so now we're really starting to get a character down. From there, I'm really gonna start to define this a little bit. So now I'm gonna drag this a little bit lower. We're gonna do a new layer. Um, I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I really kind of see what I'm doing. And here we go. I'm gonna outline this. 
get a nice draw on here. Decide what I'm gonna do with that. Draw some here. All right, so now let's go down, let's define, right? So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit, oh, wrong one. Just like I like to rotate my paper as I'm drawing this. Okay, I'm gonna bring that back to 100. And now let's get in this nice eye. Now, before I draw that other eye, I wanna draw this shape so I know where my boundaries are. So now I know I didn't finish that eye, so let's do that. And so the eye is very important. I need the eye to make sure it's looking you know, that way, right? So I need to make it a little bit on the edge of that eye so it has that feeling to it. So now I'm gonna go in and draw where that belly is. And we're gonna draw this shape. We'll make it a little bit mushy. Draw maybe the toenails. Get another mushy leg that's going on there. And then let's draw the hair. Let's get a little bit, we don't have to be as specific with the hair. And let's draw the hands. I went a little bit crazy with the, with the bottom part of the hand. So let's just draw that. And let's turn this off. And there we have our cute, oh, he is so cute. Um, now I may look at that and say like, man, that belly is way too big or I'll make some adjustments. Or maybe I like how kind of goofy you know, that really looks with that. You may decide going in here, you know what? Let's make my eraser a little bigger here. Let's erase some of this here and decide, you know what? Maybe this should come in a little bit smaller. You know, maybe it's something like this. Right, maybe we're doing something like that. So it all depends on what you wanna do. Maybe this comes more at a downward angle like that, right? So you can really decide how that kind of works. I'm gonna keep this kind of protruding belly because I think it's kind of funny um, that's here. And then the next thing is just adding in some of your details. Like for me, it's all about, you know, adding in some of this little shading that's here, going from the hair, adding some of that stuff. Let's. Let's really kind of go to the edges of this now. Make it a little bit spiky. Adding in some details with the eyes. See what I like about adding in like some of the shading like this is I don't have to go all the way across. I'm kind of allowing you to finish that with your eye as you're kind of doing this. Let's put in some of these folds that are there. Let's give them a belly button. Maybe let's put in some of these marks. Let's give them some little creases that are in there. And there we go. So there is, you know, one monster kind of drawn um, from there. So let's do one. I'm going to do one kind of just on the fly here without a plan. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to do the same kind of idea. I'm going to draw Draw this shape first, we go into a smile. Right, I think I kind of wanted to draw a tail, but I didn't do it. So let's just draw that. Let's draw feet in here. Let's give them maybe a little bit more hair here. Let's give them a couple teeth. And there we go. Give them some here, right? So there's, there's a couple different kind of styles that you can kind of do. I like this protruding belly, like that's kind of funny too. Um, and again, you could go in and add some details as you're kind of working. Uh, so that's kind of the idea of, of where you could kind of take this. Now, the creative way to do this is really up to you. How you decide to do this um, is kind of endless, right? 
So next time we'll look at a different monster, maybe different letter. Uh, but the idea is the same, like really have fun with these and, and really think about filling in that space um, with some of your features instead of trying to draw those, those inner parts, you're drawing those with different features as long as you have that same form of, of the letter and it gives you more room to kind of be creative and add interesting things into that. So I hope you enjoyed this and as always, if, if, you're, uh, if you're doing this along with me, you can always submit what your version looks like. I love to see what other people kind of create um, from these videos. All right, see you next time.